Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here, what up? Today we're going to be talking about Jin, the legendary wind invoker of the Celestial Rift season. It just came out. It just released 37k sigils and it is yours. Let's talk about the spells. So we have Invoke Betrayal, which is a passive. This is the dot 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 boom spell that is integrated into all invokers. It heavily damages towers in a target area. This is not like a death gaze. Um, it is more for on tier, so don't expect to be like a level 100 and go smash a level 500 it's not going to work your spell is not going to one-shot the towers the next thing we have is beguile it is a white one rage spell it is basically a tiny little sand that disables um like one tower two if you're lucky um then we have from the shadows a two rage blue cloak this allows you to shoot from the cloak um but again it is two rage and it is blue so use it sparingly um and then the last thing we have is a passive that increases the breath damage of the invokers just regular three shot fireballs before the spell and then it also increases the rage regeneration that you get um, which is definitely needed on this dragon all right, the pros. It has a high damage invoke similar to a death gaze, but it is on tier. You cannot just go off um, and think that you're gonna death gaze at level 500 as like a level 90. It's not gonna work. It doesn't have enough oomph. So um, it, this is really for just on tier, maybe a tier above um, if you ruin and gear it properly, but keep that in mind. You have a cloak that you can shoot from. It has increased rage and breath damage. Um, and then it has that disable sand for problem towers or to get the blue mage down so that you can use your cloak and the cons the cloak is blue you have to get it the blue mage down to be able to use it um, to avoid damage the cloak is too rage which is very costly especially if you have to blink a blue mage there is no way to gain rage quickly or health both of the aoe's of the invoke and the sand are extremely small you have to be absolutely perfect to get a two tower hit with either spell and i am not perfect so i very very rarely got two towers and if you mess up you just get no towers there's also no reload and the amp is not enough when the base is heavily defended having increased um, damage on your breath spell is very very nice especially for an invoker that already has high damage on those three shots but it just it isn't enough whenever it's heavily defended so you can't rely on that as um, like a safety net to get a tower down so my overall thoughts and opinion, the dragon is a rage-hungry nightmare for most flyers. Mediocre at best for the top 1%. Um, defended, you won't get very far unless you're able to blink consistently and hit your almost impossible to hit doubles, which is very, very hard, especially because the blue cloak um, is very costly, which renders the sand to be a useless spell. You can't just cloak and use the sand at, at your will. You, you don't have enough rage for it, um, which means that you just spam your cloak and shoot down as much as you can with that death gaze type spell um this renders the sand a useless spell add-on in my opinion and it really is something that i only use to anchor myself with to get more rage um you couple that with minimal rage no heal and no reload and you're in for a very not fun time i don't recommend it to anyone there are much better dragon options this season please save your sigils um i i just can't recommend this guy for anyone and if that isn't what you wanted to hear, I'm really sorry, but um, I don't think it will do much defended unless you are a god, and I didn't find it very useful. Um, I just think that there are better dragons in the season, and hopefully better dragons that are coming. I am excited to see what the festive is and what it does. Um, so I'm holding out hope for that. I am saving my sigils and seeing what else is out there. So... I would recommend for everyone to do that, if, especially if you are a lower level player and you have to rely on legendaries right now. Wait until the end of the season and see everything that is released. Watch all of the pro and con videos that you can and really look at the spell kits of the dragons and see which one is going to take you the furthest. Because in all reality, that's what you'll have to rely on is those divines. Um, In-game players rely on them as well, not as much because when you're on tier, it's easier to rely on lineage dragons, but for the most part, you have to rely on those legendaries. So it's really sad to me to see that, again, a legendary isn't very viable. It's the same thing with Ethera or Ethera, um, the sorcerer of the season. I wasn't very like blown away by it, which I don't have to be blown away, but I just find that both dragons aren't very usable. Um, so 
I would definitely recommend Seket out, out of the three legendaries that have released so far. Um, and hopefully, um, hopefully the festive is good and we'll be blown away by it. So thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to watch and support the channel. It's grown so much over just the last year and I really appreciate everything that you guys um, comment, like, and share. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!